Welcome everyone. So today we're looking at guess the answer. So a guess the answer activity using H5P on WordPress. And it's a very simple activity. So you have a question, a piece of media, so an image or a video. And then you have a button that says click here to see the answer. So the user looks at the media, reads the question, and then they guess the answer and click on the button to reveal the correct answer to see if they got the answer correct. So I click on it and it says hermit crab. That is it. You can only add one per activity. And I also added a little bit of uh, hover text. So when I hover on the image, it says this is an image of and then blank. There's not much you can add, not a lot of settings you can change. Okay, let's take a look at how we can create this using H5P on WordPress. Let's get started creating a guess the answer activity using H5P on WordPress. So what you want to do is you want to come down to your H5P content and click on add new to add a new activity and you want to find the guess the answer module. If it's not there you can click on get to get it and once you do get the module you can click on it to start creating. And that we'll just say this is called guess the answer. So we give it a title and then you see there's a task description here and the task dis description is what is the question. So what is the question? And our question is very simple. What is this animal called? What is this animal called? And you can add a media, you can add an image or a video. In our case, we're just going to add an image. We're going to select this image. And this is an image of a hermit crab. Just put crab, hover text. We don't want any hover text. So when a user hovers on the image, you just say this is an image of a and then blank and then we have the button that will reveal the answer so right now the button says click to see the answer so we can add something like click here to see the answer and then we give our solution to this question what is this animal this is a hermit crab and for the text override, this overrides the default text. So instead of saying image, this could say something else. Or you can use a different language. We're not going to change that. So this is basically it. You have the title, task description, you have your media, and then you have your, your answer. You can't, you can't add more than one. So there is only one image, one question, one answer per activity. So I don't want to display any toolbars next to my content. And let me click create to see what this looks like. Put two S's there. So we have here our activity. We've got our question. What is this animal called? We have the picture and we have the button that says click here to see the answer. And when the user so the user has to guess what the answer is and then they click on the image to reveal the answer or they click on the button to reveal the answer, hermit crab. That is basically it. There is nothing else to this activity. Very simple activity. You can make more complicated use out of it. Maybe you can play a video and then ask a question but that is basically it. So to get this on your website, you copy the short code, add it to a new post or a page, 
So for me, I want to add a new post. When you hover on the image, it says this is this is an image of blank. Give this a name, 38, guess the answer. And you want to add a new block, and this block should be a shortcode block. So shortcode block, and I pasted my shortcode in there. I want to publish. Yes, I want to publish, and then I want to view my post. And we've got it right here. What is this animal called? And then click to reveal. And we've got a hover text. That's it. There is nothing else to this activity. Again, this could be an image or a video. And you only add one question, one image, or one video, and then one answer. No more. If you have any questions or if you've used this activity in a different way, you can put that in a comment so other people can read and get something out of it. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.